Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anthony Scott, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Durham Housing Authority. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So on Thursday morning, I received a call from the Director of Neighborhood Improvement Services about a report of unusual number of cases of elevated carbon monoxide levels in Medulla Terrace. During our discussions, it was agreed that we wanted to institute a unit-by-unit unit inspection designed to check our CO monitors, fire detectors, as an immediate precaution. So with respect to uh, the children, uh, particularly the two infants, I know that's been a rumor that's been out there for a while. And what we were told from the fire department is there is no indication that those children had, uh, had their deaths were a result of CO poisoning. We were just saying it. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really reporting what I understood from the emergency officials. We're, we're not someone who can make that determination. Right now, what you're saying, you are not really sure what caused these children to die? You do not know that. You're only going on what the fire department. Who's here from the fire department? Okay, so you have a report? The medical you? examiner will be the one to make the final determination on that. And that this has not takes, been done takes yet. time. It hasn't been done yet. It has not been done uh, yet. But it is my understanding in North Carolina that that autopsy result is public record once it's complete. It shouldn't have took for all of this for y'all to want to help us. I mean, we live in the projects, but we humans too. Y'all couldn't stand up Where's the residents' money going? I want to know where the money is. I'm gonna call it what it is. It ain't only in McDougal Terrace, it's all of them. See, y'all putting all that money into downtown. Yeah. Hundreds of millions of dollars in the white and, and, and the white neighborhoods. But right. the black neighborhoods you leave suffering. I'm gonna call it what it is. It's economic ethnic cleansing. It has so much mold in it. Like I said, my kids wow. are in here. Three kids, and I have doctor's notes from three years ago, I supposed to have been gone. I'm still there with my kids. Are we going to move anytime soon, or I'm going to be, I don't, I don't understand, I don't want my kids to die. Are y'all going to get us away from there? We're going to make sure we take care of you. Same thing last time. I saw you four months ago. They need to get rid of you. You need to go. Did you see this lady's pictures? You need to go. You need to resign. You need to resign. He shouldn't have took these babies to die for y'all to do something about it. So I want to know if these babies wouldn't have died, when and how long was it going to take y'all to address this problem? Hi, everybody. Boy, happy New Year. Oh, well, I'm breaking ground. My son, he just thinks, um, you know, December 8th, I feel due to the carbon monoxide. Even if he doesn't show, like, I feel like, yeah, that's the truth. Look so bad. And this ain't nothing that I can do about it, but I just want the babies to be okay. Like, I just want them to fix it for everybody, kids. So.